point. Uh, just waiting for everything to go live. So you may notice, um, actually there we go, uh, it's just starting to pop up here. So you may notice, first of all, uh, stuff is a little bit different uh, this time. Uh, and it turns out last time I kind of misjudged where the autosave was. I thought that right as a base got attacked, an autosave happened. So basically I just had to sit here and reload the uh, the spawn autosave over and over until I got that base stack again. So there we go. There it is. So, you know, that whole thing. Also, interestingly, uh, this time we can actually see what it is. Only three Heridians, one CZ, and one Sibillion, and five drones, and a bunch of Reaper boxes, I guess? Weird. Uh, anyway, so, uh, so yeah, not exactly ideal. It was just basically a situation where my folks had shown up, I left the computer running, and it unfortunately crashed, as it does. Kind of one of the problems with this computer is that it just basically goes and redoes itself pretty regularly. Um, it's kind of annoying. Uh, it's just basically as soon as it's left on for any period of time, it's just like, nah, I guess I'm good to go now. So, not ideal, but oh well. So, I'm just going to load everybody up with whatever's on hand here. Uh, just mass everything on everyone, I guess. Uh, I think piranhas do more than plasmas, but we'll just go ahead and slap those on there. Uh, not 100% certain. Uh, we already know the Fury is not going to be able to uh, to do anything in this particular fight. Uh, for some reason, the Lotus is back this time. I don't remember why it wasn't around last time. Um, I could be misremembering something. Uh, there's a chance for the Piranha to be in this fight. Uh, the Heavy Fighter is redone here. Um, at least there's a chance this time around to go and give everybody their proper equipment. Again, it's not an ideal setup. I don't remember how much of this is actually saved, but we'll you know we'll find that out pretty shortly here. Uh, I guess we just give Sidewinders to everybody, because the the black titaniums or anything else doesn't it doesn't really do anything for us here. Uh, worst case scenario, you know they uh, uh, they end up uh, getting a few extra shots. Not the end of the world. Um, yeah, we meant to retire these Asiriuses because they're garbage. Uh, problem is, uh, yeah, while they're while they're out of commission, I can't always get them back. Though thankfully, in this case, I can. Uh, that's actually something that I was remembering um, remembering yesterday when I was putting everything away. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, kind of uh, kind of should have taken care of that, huh? But anyway, there we go. So let's go ahead and redo some of this. Um, I don't know what uh, what Sharon's opinion would be on that one, though. To be honest, I was not able to get a hold of him yesterday, so I'm not sure what's going on with him. Hopefully everything's okay. Hopefully all's good. Hopefully. All right. So what else here? Uh, let me just make sure that I'm actually looking at the right stuff here to make sure when I can see when stuff's popping up. Um, Plasma's on... You know what? We sh yeah, we should probably just completely retire this thing. Uh, it's got 1% health. It's never going to be able to fly to do anything here. Just, yeah, get rid of it. And uh, this one, similar similar situation. It's just it's an, it's a decent enough thing, but it's not really going to hold up anymore. Especially if we want, if we're expecting the possibility of that base going down, so not really worth it there. Uh, I guess we've got some spaces here. That's fine. Uh, spear cannons on those. I think what we want to do is replace this with a spear cannon. Give this guy the uh, give this guy something to work with anyway. Probably give him hypers and give him a plasma blaster. There we go. Uh, Gravity Pancake. I don't know what it's up to these days, but we'll go ahead and leave that as it is. I uh, don't have any sniping missiles on him. Uh, you can have some piranhas. You can have some of these things. I don't know where that thing spawned exactly, but I guess we'll find out when we find out. Uh, this hunter is unfortunately out of commission. It would be very helpful in this uh, instance. Um, I had a few other ideas on stuff that could have been useful as well, but we'll, we'll see if that ever ends up coming to pass. Uh, why does this thing have such garbage? Okay, um... Yeah, let's uh, downgrade and eliminate you, I think. I think we'll we'll hold off on firing it entirely. Well, actually, you know what? Mauser's okay on that one, given the situation. Uh, probably put some sidewinders just for the hell of it. Uh, hopefully everything gets a chance to actually fire this time around. That was a little bit of a problem last time. Um, and yeah, as soon as, uh, as soon as those aren't a concern, we can swap back to other, uh, other things like uh, anti-missiles here. It just felt like that's uh, damage on the table that we just kind of left sitting around. It, this won't go any differently, realistically speaking. It just doesn't really have a chance to. But uh, for the time being, for the time being, this is what we got. 
So uh, I just like I was planning to just launch this up and go straight to the uh, the defense thing, um, but unfortunately that's not what was in the cards. So you do what you do, I suppose. And unfortunately that doing did not involve the base thing just yet. Though it realistically it will. Um, even with all this stuff optimized, uh, there's honestly very little chance that they'll be able to do much more than tickle the thing. But hey. You know, uh, there's are there are a few other options that are available down the line. Um, so after this wave, there's a few things I can adjust to hopefully uh, get a little bit more goodness coming out of it. It's just not anything that's going to be immediately on hand. Okay, we got du dual mag storms on that. Uh, these ones aren't going anywhere, and okay, I think that's everything. Now, manufacturing-wise, what was I actually doing here? I think I was trying to get some extra flamethrowers out, if I recall correctly. Uh, hopefully that information's correct. Am I doing the carbine? I could make a pistol, but it's honestly not really worth it. Okay. Plasma thrower. Yeah, nine hours. Realistically, it can't get there, but we'll do that. Now, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. one more thing that there's an opportunity to do now is get some of this stuff transferred over to the science base, because I need to see what's uh, what's researchable and what, what isn't. So, let's see. Yeah, the reactor thing will... Uh, realistically, all these might finish by the time we're done here. Um, come to think of it, is this two waves behind? Huh. Because looking at this, I thought we already took care of this, I thought we already took care of this. How far behind was this autosave? It can't be that far behind, right? Alright, this is weird. Whatever, we'll, f we'll deal with it as we'll deal with it. Um, realistically, I don't see anybody showing up on time, but we'll go ahead and pop a few in here anyway. Just on the vain hope that maybe they'll show up in uh, in the nick of time. It's very unlikely, but, you know. Whatever. We'll, uh, we'll get what we'll get. Uh, Vehicle-wise, everyone should be all good to go here. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. I mean, we've got three tanks for it, so... Definitely can't complain about that. Um, uh, the only downside is... Yeah, okay, that one's... That one's gonna be perfect for close quarters. This one's gonna be perfect for close quarters. This one's gonna be good for AoE. Uh, so that is how it is. Uh, just in case these are assigned to a dropship, this is probably the one I'd want to save, but the dropship is currently, you know, in pieces. They're just disassembling it from a pile that showed up in the mail. Um, yeah, equipment-wise, we uh, we have an okay selection of stuff, but we only have one Predator guy. Uh, the downside of all of that is TUs, for sure. And actually, this right here is probably what screwed me over last time. But I completely missed uh, how you, how um, how much TU drop you get from that. Uh, something to bear in mind for the future. This guy seems like a perfect candidate for the Sentinel. Hmm. It's gonna be like the Sentinel flamethrower guy. Anyway, at least we got a little bit of extra time to prepare this time around. It's uh, I, I'm considering it fair. It's just I, again I was expecting to just go into this how it was yesterday. But, uh, for whatever reason, the game said no. So, we are how we are now, so here we go. Might as well just give them everything. Uh, we already know that there's going to be some biological stuff, so we might as well give them some of those. Um, smoke wouldn't be the worst idea, because we're doing a lot of close range. So, there we go. You're all good to go there. Uh, you seem like an okay candidate for Predator here. Um, is there anything that they would actually be able to reload while... This one's 50. Like, is it, I need to see if there's anybody... Or is it 40? Reload cost is a hard 50. Okay, so... Let's put you in Direwolf. That wouldn't help you at all, either. We'll probably give everybody one disposable flamethrower and then switch them over to rifles or something? Hmm. Of course, looking at this, apparently this stuff is too cumbersome to even reload a rifle, so... Yeah, you could barely reload a pistol. Wow, that's that's really something. Uh, what about an auto shoddy? How would that look on you? Uh, yeah, you know what? You could do that. You could swing an auto shoddy. 
So that would work there. We've also got these other flamethrowers. You know what? Maybe we didn't need the other flamethrowers. We're probably probably okay. It's probably not as dire as I thought, though. Yeah, it's absolutely as dire as I thought. <laughs> I can almost guarantee it. Uh, what about this one? What's your cost? Uh, 25 to reload it? Alright. Uh, I'm going to give her three of these, just because they tend to burn through really quick. Uh, what else? This guy's got TUs for days. Can you swing it? Yes. You can absolutely swing being a heavy weapons guy. I might as well give this guy the minigun, because that's the one with the super crazy reload. Of only 40? Why is the flamethrower 50, but that one's 40? Um... Yeah, in that case, we should probably save the Predator and all that for somebody else. What about... Aw, you can almost swing a flamethrower and dire wolf. That'd be pretty awesome. But you can do flame and, uh, flame and wolf. So go ahead and go with that. As you do. So just slap one of them dailies on you. Give you two reloads, though realistically everyone will barely have a chance to reload once. Who are we kidding? Uh, give you one of these. Give you some smoke. Man, we are... Really not looking great on supplies, but uh, after all is said and done here, we might have a chance to go do some other stuff. Um, let's see, this guy's all about the strength. To use 40. This guy might be perfect, actually, for that uh, for that minigun. Or there we go. So yeah, I think you're going to be perfect for that minigun. There we are. The heaviest, chunkiest gun we got. Uh, probably load everybody up on medkits here, just because we have a chance to go drop them. So there's going to be our medkit person. Um, as far as everybody else, let's go ahead and make one rocketeer here, uh, with all of the AP plas that we got. We're actually going to need a few of those, because these are basically insta-kill rockets, so we might as well. And for androns, they seem to just barely, uh, barely hold off finishing them, so that's always nice. Um, Go ahead and get this. Uh, thankfully, this gives a nice little reload bonus. So, plenty of AP plows going on. So, we got three insta kill rocketeers, basically. Uh, actually, no, we'll, we'll make that for you as well. There we are. Don't know if anybody's going to be uh, showing up to this just yet. Uh, expecting a little bit of time for that. Uh, let's see, Wolf, you got a bunch of accuracy going on. Um, yeah, no, we might as well have you snipe with the rockets as well. Probably should make him into something else, but we'll see. Uh, let's see if you can do Direwolf and Flamethrower. You actually, this guy winds up with 40. Mm, how much is the reload cost for a rocket? Let's see here. Reload cost is 35. So you know what? No, we're going to make you a Rocketeer. I will turn one of the Rocketeers into, uh, into a Flamethrower. There we go. Uh, who winds up with 40? Yeah, you've got plenty left over, so let's go ahead and take all that away. I actually just deleted a rocket on accident. That's my bad. But, oh well, fair is fair, I suppose. We get some free rockets by just loading them in there. Alright, there we go. Give you this thing. Give you one of these. Should be all nice and quick-like. Uh, there we go. This guy gets a little bit of a smoke or something along those lines. There we go. Um, <laughs> some direwolf for you as well, and yeah, you're just barely going to be able to pull that off, so there we go. Not that I'm expecting them to hold up terribly well, but, you know, we'll deal with what we'll deal. Now, this last guy, does he still wind up with 35? Yeah, he winds up with exactly 35, so he's going to have an exactly enough to reload once. Um, okay. This is looking workable. Uh, we're probably going to want to load up on extra equipment just in case. Oh, we've got one extra flamethrower left over. That might be more worthwhile. Actually, for you especially, we're going to probably want that. Well, then again, no. Because this is basically guaranteed disintegration plus, uh, plus a giant AoE. So if we need close range, then we definitely want those rockets, weirdly enough. It's kind of weird how that works. But, oh well. These will basically insta-delete pretty much anything, uh, short of a Robo-Rex, but, you know, we'll deal with that as we'll deal with it. This guy can go ahead and probably take that extra flamethrower, because it's not like we're getting it out of here, so... Whatever happens, happens. Um, 
It would be nice to have that cannon, but it ain't gonna happen. Uh, Shield-wise, we can probably pick up some shields, pop them into inventories. Uh, what do we got here? All right, equipments, shields. There we go. Let's pop that in there. Give you a little bit of a uh, little bit of reload action. Uh, I think we've got enough minigun stuff. Uh, don't need that. In fact, if anything, we probably want to see if we can assemble a little bit more armor before before the storm hits. But I'm not really concerned about getting too much out of this mission, because for now it's just survival mode, basically. Uh, rockets... Uh, I think we have what we need, because I can't imagine we have that many coming in. Like, I'm, I'm expecting maybe 30 or 40. So, there we go. We're... We're gonna kind of go all nutso with these AP rockets. Kind of like last time. Uh, I'm gonna get a bunch of regular ones in here as well, just for good measure. And there we are. That's looking workable, at least. Um, what I really want to do is, uh, is start going more towards more shotguns and things like that, but... You know, there's a really only so much that we can dedicate to that. Hmm. Is there anyone we really want to dedicate to shotguns? Because we're not dealing with biological stuff. We're dealing with robots. So, for the most part, anyway. It seems like this one has, again, three Heridians, one Cesian, one Sibillion. Like, I, those just kind of have to be there. It's mostly robots. Uh, okay, so, first things first. We send a few, uh, a few of these flighty, fighty type types. Go. Go send those ones out. Give them a quick second to get closer. Now we've got some other ones coming in in other places. What are you up to? Unclear. All right. Well, we're gonna send some Asiruses to go deal with that. We're gonna send a Sonda to go deal with that. We're gonna send a bunch of heavy fighters over to this thing, though. Because yeah, if that base is like. Whatever else they accomplish, fine. If that base goes, we're screwed. Like, the the campaign is not exactly over, but it's definitely on the back foot if that thing goes down. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm, I'm gonna send one, uh, one team of heavy fighters to go attack this, because there's a chance that... No, there probably isn't a chance they can rearm in time. Alright. We're gonna send everybody. What I could dedicate to those ones, I did. Now, these guys are pretty far away. Uh, Crab Zone might not have much of a chance to react, so... If we send something quick after this, they can hopefully do the job and get back. Um, yeah, so just send the two Heavy Fighters. Let's go deal with that. And you go deal from over here. Those are only 50% reloaded. Not really much sense in sending them yet. Uh, just give them a a couple hours to reload here. Because this thing's going to go back and forth a few times. Alright, that one's a supply ship. So they've already got a base down somewhere. Hmm. So one's with the friggin' pulses. Uh... Alright. We're going to go over this way. And just deal with the hunters, basically. Because we need missile boats to deal with this. So as long as we can deal with the hunters, it's something. left. Right, you go that way, you keep pulsing. Uh, okay, we lost one of them. Alright, and there we go. It's almost down. So, one more little wave should take care of that. Alright, the Sonda can at least damage this. Uh, apparently they don't have any script to land, so... Not really much sense in trying to, uh, to cheese that out like I did before. Uh, this thing actually might be too obsolete to even take this on. Yeah, it's looking like it. Yeah. 
Eh, it won't make this happen. Alright, whatever, we'll just get it out of here. Might be useful for the other fight, but not for this one. That's that's just a shame. Alright, I can go back. Actually, the Sonda might be able to go deal with this real quick. Alright. Because, yeah, we we'll just do a quick turnaround here. Kind of go about here. He's going to go take a few of those little, uh, little laser pulse planks. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a waste. It's a waste. I was hoping that it would get some shots off on the hunter, but I should have just let it charge directly. Probably could have gotten it off. Ah, uh, dum dum dum. All right. So we've got the T knot. We've got two sonar pulses and that. So pulses can probably fly together. This one can go here. Got a few shots off. These two should be able to take out that hunter. Alright. So, alright, you guys need to keep going this way. Kind of about there. This one will roll in a sec. That's fine. I just wanted to get a few shots off with him, at the very least. It's a little bit of a waste of damage, but for now it's fine. With any luck, these two should be able to just roll next to these hunters and take care of them. Which should be able to put everybody else on, on uh, offense mode. Wow, what? I got deleted pretty quick. Okay, never mind. That went very poorly, in fact. What a shame! What a shame. Alright, two heavies versus a scout. Boy, today's gonna be one of those days that doesn't go very well, isn't it? Alright. As long as we get the focus lens in on this, we're good. So let's get you this way. Yeah, unfortunately, the focus lens is kind of the main... Uh, the main draw in this case. Okay. Let's get you far away, hopefully. Man, that is just... These things are getting fast. Okay. And in fact, I, I almost want—I almost want to say this is the best way to do it. Whoa! Dang, neighbor's kiddos are getting loud today. Hang on, let me go see what's going on out there. One quick sec. Stuff's looking pretty intense out there. Uh, okay. Yeah, I had to go double-check that. That definitely wasn't my kiddos. But yeah, no, they're still passed out. So, let's go ahead and go for slow-mo mode here. While this one still tries to get away. Man. These heavy scouts are getting really, really, uh... Well, even more heavy. Problem is I can't afford another headlong charge. Let's see if we roll right here. Yeah, there we go. Just squeeze right past. He's starting to starting to get his close range stuff going. Unfortunately, he's turning so fast that I can't really 
get him out of the way fast enough. Oof. Right, if you go this way slightly, maybe you can... Uh, kind of? Alright, if we take one more... And then, like, I'm, I'm, what I'm thinking is we we take one more here, we roll right, kind of wind up around here-ish. Somehow thread of the needle there. Right, whatever, you go there. You keep turning. And then you need to pull up alongside this thing. And let's see, we're at 48. Yeah, this, this is doable if if everything continues cooperating. And then if we somehow survive the base defense, then we can go deal with this one and maybe take a, uh, a nice low-hanging fruit, finally. Because it feels like we've been taking this heavy stuff over and over and over and over and over lately. Alright. Uh, probably might have to roll into it. Right, you dodge that one. And then go here. This one's are all after him. Right, you keep skirting it this way. Uh, I guess depends entirely. Uh, if he's got 75% or more, then we can try charging with this guy. Uh, once this is uh, once this guy is depleted. Otherwise, we'll probably just bail. You're out of here. And then you need to head this way. So can we even see his health right now? No. Too much stuff on screen. 69. Yeah, it's... It's not enough. We're gonna need that focus lens again. I'm really better off just getting him out of here. Go ahead and escape, whichever direction that happens to be. I'm sure it's fine. We already did go left, in fact. Okay, and there we go. That should be that. Now, out of curiosity, I know those ones tend to account for a decent chunk. Would that, by any chance, give me a nice, happy 100% for some reason? No. Okay. Yeah, they can just go ahead and go back. Uh, if there's anyone else we can send against that, we literally need almost nothing to take it out. Um, two androns, two boxes, one dog, and two drones. Yeah, that's pretty easy to deal with. Of course, saying that, they're all going to spawn in with friggin' uh, like blood cannons and crap, but, you know... Is what it is. Uh, the microwave maybe might be able to pull it off. Uh, maybe if I give it some Asiruses. You know what? In fact, if I just bum rush three Asiruses into it, there's nothing else they can really do. Um, they're kind of worthless right now, so I might as well give it a shot. Uh, this one's in rough shape. That one's untouched. So is there anything available down here? So yeah, some. Uh, let's see. Some islands. Uh, what do they have? they have anything? Because, yeah, some islands, yeah, if I, if I send those three out, that might also do some business. Uh, they might be able to deal with it. Uh, the Corsair would be useful against this thing if I can even get it there. Uh, yeah, those aren't reloaded yet. If I just send that Corsair by itself, that's workable. It's just really far away. And I don't want to commit anything else and you know until we can actually do something with this. Because, yeah, right now we've got 13% on that guy, 25 on that guy. The big guy is completely untouched. Alright, and this must have been the Corsair I sent last time. Alright, so you go that way, you go that way, you go that way. Go into Ultra Slow Mo. Hello there, Mr. Vale. Working hard, but stopped in to say quickly. And, uh, nice to see you this morning, Mr. Vale. Um,. Hopefully one of these mornings we can line up to do that uh, that mana one, which, uh, by the way, starting tomorrow we should be back to a normal schedule, so I guess just uh, just let me know when you want to do that. I am I was kind of assuming for tomorrow afternoon, 
but do let me know if that works. Also, if we turn off your afterburners, have these two go at the same speed, they might be able to collide very nicely here. Alright, if you roll left now, we got something. He's gonna roll left to avoid those missiles. Oh, nice. Okay, we got it. Got it. And it also sounded like there were some pew pews. Yeah, you just got him with a Mauser, so... Use that turn radius to turn around and try to deal with him, I think. He's toast anyway. But, we can at least get these going here. Alright. And we've got one focus lens on hand. Alright, that sucks. I probably should have had him dodge, but that's my mistake. Okay, so we lost a lot of potential damage off that. But as long as this one can still deal with this last hunter. See, tomorrow afternoon should be good. Alright, sounds good. I will update if anything changes, but uh, it should be all good for tomorrow afternoon then. Sounds like we're scheduling a dentist appointment. Alright. And there goes the cannon, and dodge. Ah, was... Crap. Okay, critical damage, though. Finish him. Oh, okay. Not perfect, but I at least got him out of the way. Uh, I was really hoping to, to get those hyper-missiles off on this thing. That would have been at least a solid 2% of its health, but... Oh, well. Um, yeah, I should really start thinking about just transferring some of the some of the dudes from here. Because, yeah, all, all heavy stuff. Okay, what else? Uh, we've got that squadron going. Might as well get everything else going. Uh, what we got here? These ones, let's see, the Fury won't be ready for another few hours. The Drake is getting reloaded. The Lotus is getting reloaded. If there's a chance for the Marauder to go, that'd be fantastic. Um, it's unclear how fast that's going to be. Uh, we can get this Foxtrot going. Uh, would be nice to have it alongside some other things so it's not getting instantly taken out, but... Um... Yeah, I don't know what else we're really going to send with it. Let's just send two in the Foxtrot. Actually, no, those missiles might be useful. Let's let them finish reloading. Um, because these guys have the same problem. And yes, it's going to take a while for them to arrive, but it is what it is. Alright. So, okay. These ones will go this way, this way, and let's say this way. Switch it over to two. Everybody's going fast. Everybody's going all zoomy like. Uh, that might be fatal, so we're going to have him dodge. A little bit too aggressive an angle with that guy. Let's get you going here. Alright, you go here, you go here. You dodge, because I need that focus lens action. Alright. Now these two need to circle around and get pew pewing. Oh, crap. Well, that was bad timing. Alright, you just get in there. These two will now continue, swarming around as they do. Alright, there goes the first one, and second one... Honestly, we can probably just leave it doing this. Seems to be able to do about as good of a job. There we go, and more gone, and 3%. Not exactly mind-blowing, but it at least happened. Unfortunately, that focus lens didn't get a single shot off, but that's going to be the thing with these, it appears. Uh, these are not the ones that ended up having uh, any kind of extra missiles or, on, or anything on them either. They just have the antis. Alright, put it on slightly slow-mo. Yeah, one thing, um, one thing I've mentioned a few times that I hope will be possible for, uh, for Xeno 2 is for them to implement uh, uh, some sort of system in which um, you just basically assign an angle to the air game. So you just like, basically tell them, you know, approach from X, Y, or Z angles or whatever, and then it does it. Oh, crap. Well, man, I'm just going to get none of the damage off this time, apparently. Good job, idiot. 
one percent or two percent damage off of three more fighters. Yeah, this math ain't working great. All right, uh, what else do we got? These ones almost rearmed. Yes, they are rearmed and ready to dump loads of missiles on them. So, no, nah, you don't say. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, okay. So we're gonna go opposite sides as we do. Try to take some awkward angles. They're gonna go ahead and fire some off there. Um, and f oof, okay, the Lotus getting almost taken out immediately. Now, how did how much did that first burst do? Yeah, it looks like we got a good four percent just off of that. These are like the champions here. These will be setting the bar for what everybody else can possibly accomplish. Because aside from this, we just have a bunch of fighters that hopefully will actually be rearmed by the time these ones are done fighting it. And I'm not even sure how we threaded the needle so many times last time. There we go. Threaded it again. Alright. Well, I mean, they got another 5% off. It's not perfect. If they had a little bit of help, uh, we might be doing a little bit better, but that's about as good of an angle as we we're going to get, I think. Okay. Everybody else, because every bit of damage we do is a little bit less, uh, a little bit less meat on board, basically. That's all this amounts to. Uh, let's see, these are ready to go. Looks like everybody's rearmed now. Those ones can't launch yet. Uh, we got one here, one here. Yeah, might as well let those go. Uh, one uh, one lack of sidewinders is okay by me. Um, I think it was a final mod pack thing uh, for uh, for XCOM 1 that allowed you to launch with only partial loads. I mean, in this one you can launch with only partial loads, but I mean, when they're like, okay, we loaded one of the missiles on there, just not the rest. Instead of like, well, we just put them all on at once. We just couldn't get around to it, sorry. Kind of situation. Alright, hopefully it gives it a nice wide arc a few times. These ones are just gonna bum rush this thing. Because it's already heavily damaged. There we go. And yeah. This is all that a series is good for at this point. I mean, they did 21%. 20 it's not bad. Considering that their previous record was nothing, uh, that's really not too terrible. Uh, that should be the supply ship right here. Anybody else to left to go deal with this? Uh, well, I'm sure something will be ready to go by then. Uh, this Corsair can probably take it out. Actually, no, the Corsair is better off dealing with this because it does not. It probably wouldn't have the armor to go put up with it. All right, uh, just Goss and Sonars. That's fine. Right. Everybody goes on burners. Two and one. I'm still kind of up in the air, though, as far as whether it's actually better to split them here or not. Because the third one seems to have a very good track record of threading the needle, and then they can approach from two different angles. It seems like it makes it better on average, but I don't know if it's truly more effective. Um, I haven't really watched anybody else's uh, runs up to this point on purpose uh, to try to to try to minimize uh, any kind of spoilery type stuff because I like to do the stuff blind, you know. It's uh, it's interesting to see what comes up, and unfortunately, there goes our sonar guy. Somehow we wound up backwards here. I don't really know how that worked out, but whatever. Yeah, that accomplished nothing. Fantastic. Oh boy, we are going to be dealing with a full complement here, aren't we? Okie dokie, Corsair's out of gas. Yeah, pulse minigun. At least hopefully we can get these researches out. Um, I believe all of this stuff, with the exception of the blood pistol, are already just kind of on hand. So I can see what I can transfer over to the other base, because this one's the manufacturing one, and if it goes down, well kind of screwed anyway, but, um... 
we transfer stuff over to... Hang on, we're supposed to be over here. Yeah, if we transfer stuff from uh, from Nerves Concord over some Triland, because I think Triland is the one with all the science. Uh, give him five of these APs, give him some controls, uh, advanced nades, some... Just kind of transfer some stuff in general, just in case. Because um, I'm going to need to be transferring all this stuff back if uh, if this doesn't work out. Uh, pistol, yeah, transfer that. Like, it's really the research and stuff, because everything else I'm pretty low on at this point. Uh, we can't take apart the neutrons yet. Right, transfer a bunch of those over, transfer these over, because these are all potentially cores. In fact, I really probably should just transfer all of it, huh? Just, uh, just in case. This is about the best odds that we're gonna get, but just in case. There we go. Interestingly, we have medium scouts, or we have a bunch of, uh, data cores from them. I wonder why we, uh, why we haven't disassembled those yet. This feels like something that would have happened. This stuff's gonna take forever to get back. Kinda wish there was a just dump inventory button. Uh, maybe in the future, who knows. But let's get the Elenium over there, let's get the stun rockets over there. Uh, I'm still building some stuff, aren't I? Yeah, I shouldn't need these. Advanced stun rockets. I probably want to use at least a couple of them, just to get rid of the uh, the rookies. Not not the rookies, but you know, the people in the front. I might as well transfer all of those over. Wreckages, sure. We haven't really had a, like a, a big ol' amount of breathing room for a long time here. Alright. Transfer all these, transfer all these. Hmm. Then again, I guess original Xenonauts didn't have the whole base take-back feature, so... I guess they w there wouldn't have been a reason to dump inventory. Alright. Some of these. Hyperdrives, for sure. Large computers, engines, yeah, it's really these ones right here that I want to be... that I want to be transferring over. I can't be running out of plane parts. Because I'm sure there's a lot more I can do with that stuff, and I'm assuming the like, I have nothing to back this up, really, but... It's my assumption that once all is said and done, um, we're probably going to be going back to uh, to these like original plane parts to build mechs, because it, it seems unusual that we've gone this far and we haven't actually been able to do anything with them for quite a while. So there has to be more than just selling them. But we'll see. Because yeah, like right here, we've got 74-something engines. So we'll see. We'll see. Just going to transfer the stuff that looks important. I already got the research transferred over. Uh, all the research links together, so I probably should have just transferred them in the first place anyhow. Okay, snipies. All these things. Again, worst case scenario, it's resources. At least we can rebuild cores. The The first time around, that was the problem. Like, we figured out that the flamethrowers were amazing, but we couldn't end up actually doing much with that information. Simply because, yeah, there, there was very little way to, ways to get cores without essentially using Elenium APs to try to beat everything and hope that they roll low damage. Which kind of, sort of, could have worked. Um, thinking back on that whole campaign, there's a lot of things that could have, like, little things that could have changed it entirely. Like, probably the big one that turned it around was that one where we were cheesing a base for uh, free XP, and stuff was going fantastically. And then for some reason, my brain's like, oh yeah, let's just go ahead and try to take the entire base now. This can't possibly go wrong, and then everybody died. Um, so yeah, that could have definitely gone better. Because if I hadn't lost uh, those, uh, like tho that one and the follow-up where we got snuck up on by a by a wraith, those were the ones where stuff just completely fell apart. Up till that point, it was manageable. Like there there were definitely losses, but it was those ones that lost so many resources that it was actually near impossible to come back from. Um, and ultimately, just resulted in the stalemate. So. And yeah, we're we're gonna be redoing all all of this transfery business later, hopefully to get it all back. I just want to make sure that we have it on hand. So basically, what I want to do is make sure that we have at least one vehicle somewhere else. So I think we have a workshop that can put one together somewhere else. Um, do, 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 do. Man, this is a lot of stuff to transfer. Yeah, and. I guess it would have to be specially scripted if you were to have a, uh, a transfer like this. 
Oh man, it's already costing us like half a mil just to transfer this stuff. Wow. But yeah, I think we'll get the cores, get some of the axes over, and then we'll probably be good. Yeah, some anti-cores. Transfer all the axes we're not currently using. Uh, and the alloys, and I think we'll be solid there. I mean, let me just make sure there isn't anything super important, because I don't want to take forever doing this. Uh, dense fibers, transfer a bunch of them. Chitin, yeah, we definitely want those over. Yeah, dense fibers we can get more of. I just want at least 100 somewhere else. Because that stuff seems to be in pretty ample supply. Of course, saying this, I'm going to regret saying that down the road. And I guess, technically speaking, we've got... 8.7 mil to burn, so yeah, maybe I should transfer all of it. Uh, it feels it feels dirty spending that much to transfer stuff on what might not even end up being necessary. All right, transfer some SMGs over. Hmm. Whew, this stuff's expensive. Just watching those numbers rack up. so expensive. Well, I mean, I guess to be fair, this is actually surprisingly cheap for transferring this much stuff. Because just think about the logistics of all this. Like, they've got, right here, they've got a friggin', like, what is that, like, two battalions, whatever, worth of just dudes we've kept in test tubes this entire time, I guess, including a leader. Like, yeah. It's weird. Ooh, we have a lot of energy cores. How do we get so many energy cores? For that matter, oh my goodness, that is a lot of, that is a lot of hunters. Huh. Yeah, I wish I wouldn't notice that sooner. Not that we were really having money problems, but man. That is, that is seriously, like, just, how many friggin' hunters is that? I mean, these are costing ten grand each to transfer, but... You know what, let's take twenty of them and just sell them outright, I think. Alright. We're just gonna leave it at that. We're gonna transfer some of these over, sure. Uh, some of these cyber disks, some of this other stuff. Is there anything here? Yeah, that, that, just in case I need one of each. Just in case any of it needs to be researched for one thing or another. I just wanna make sure it's all there. There we go, transfer some armor over. Triland is ready if we need a secondary base, basically. We need to replace our main one. Alright, so we've got all that done. Uh, is there anything else I really want to do here? Probably not. Okay. Chill, dude. Okay. Move you here. Move these two here. And hope they decide to follow that. Yep. Alright, you can slow down. You got some shots off, you are gonna go this way. Accomplish practically nothing, more than likely. How's this gigantic thing so fast? Yeah, that's a shame. It is a dang shame. Alright, what did we accomplish? 17%. Not a very good trade. Alright, that's perfectly fine. And then, what else can we put these engineers on now? Um, there we go. Let's just have you taking apart fibers for now. Okay. Same kind of loadout as the last team. So for you, you go slow. You go that way, you go that way. In fact, if we duck out of the way... Oh. I thought if we duck out of the way, there might be a chance to avoid that shot. And maybe we could just have to follow them around. But no such luck. Though gravity torps do seem like a okay option if we had enough of them. I was thinking we need to load up on way too many Foxtrots and Gravity Torpedoes to pull this off. Alright. Take a left turn. 
you go this way. Alright. And they only got 1% damage, wow. Oof. Oof. This thing's sturdy. Alright. Anything else to really sign against this? I mean, there's really no point. Best case scenario, they get 1%. I mean, what's, what's that going to do, really? Okay, there we go. 60%, 39%. Uh, this seems about the same that it was last time. I think it was 38% last time. So, whatever. Slightly different. Alright, so you're good to go. Got extra rockets, got extra medkits. More extra rockets. Uh, probably want to slap an extra shield on somebody, actually, just in case... This would be good to have a shield guy. Um, yeah, slap another shield on you. All right, anything here-wise that we want to use? Maybe some smoke grenades, just in, just if we get to that point later. Got those on hand. Uh, anybody can pocket their weapon, maybe? Yeah, you. Can probably take a basic shield out there. Yeah, shield, basic shield. These guys are going to be pretty good at countering shields, but it's just, you know, it's a good thing to have anyway. Um, probably just leave some to be picked up later. There we got some SMGs. Probably put an SMG with a shield. Not like it'd be super amazing, but it's there. Alright. I think we should be okay. Let us launch. still sleeping. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be up in uh, just a sec here. I'm gonna go kind of arrange the fight real quick, and then I'm gonna go uh, go handle some stuff real quick. So, first off, tanks on doors. We can very effectively block off one entire area here. So, let's see where they're coming from, first of all, I suppose. And I'll stop using the mouse again. Sorry about that. So, it doesn't look like they're coming from there. Looks like we're looking at here, and yeah, some fallen androids already. And then we've got some coming from the bay here. That is going to be the bigger wave, I think. So, I think what we want to do is scatter this wave. So what we're going to do is plant some tanks here. Plant them right here, forcing them to take the long way around. Uh, yeah, we can put you right here to partially block the door. So we're going to have them block off those three doors, uh, forcing them to take this way, then we'll put dudes blocking here. Uh, put some flamethrowers and such off to the sides. Uh, we'll put equipment into the uh, into the comm room, as you do. Uh, this guy's going to be our leader. Um, what I want to do is have him set up around here-ish, uh, to kind of head them off of there. Because we're, we're going to be expecting they're going to be scattering from here. So I'm probably going to put them up here. Uh, we're going to be seeing guys come from this direction, so that should, if we put a couple in here, they should be doing a good job with flamethrowers. So we're going to go ahead and make that happen. So yeah, you go ahead and get ready ready to burst out there. Uh, next up, we got our shields. Um, yeah, she's pretty well over-encumbered. If I... Hmm. Yeah, if we just want to go offense on this, that might be the best way to do it. And just drop the shield. Have her go... I want her to be defensive. Ideally, I want her, like, right there. Actually, no, we're gonna put her right hereabouts, I think. Just kind of sitting here, being kind of a, kind of a brawler of sorts. Uh, we're gonna want... Uh, probably gonna want a flamethrower guarding this side. So, we'll get that happening. So this is going to be your your spot to defend. Uh, we're going to drop another shield over here. As well as some extra flamethrower rounds. Or some gas, I suppose, not rounds. It's, it's very powerful, especially against living things. Alright, so there we go, we got that there. We want rocket back up for him for sure. So we got those there. We don't really want to scatter too much. Uh, we're going to put the heavy guns here for sure. Um, I'm going to want Rocketeers kind of getting into here and 
sniping as they can. And they're not going to be reaction firing at all, so there we go. We'll put you here. Another flamethrower guy we'll put here. Another one here. Hmm. Now we're going to want some second wave defense here, though. Alright, you go, you go here. And then you're going to drop your equipment right over here. So you're the other guy with the shield and the guy with more smoke grenades. Uh, what I'm thinking with all the smoke, by the way, is uh, when uh, when the time comes to... Uh, to, to like, hopefully we blunt the first wave there. They start going back into their little corners. Uh, then when that time comes, we're going to need a lot of these. So that's kind of what the plan is there, but I don't need them at the start. So they're just going to sit around. And there we go. So you're going to go assist these ones. So basic plan is, these guys come out, they're going to take this room, they're going to start firing at stuff here. We get some people set up, uh, probably over... He nah, it's going to be a waste. Um, we're going to set up some people here try to take this door, open it up, and just kind of peek out and fire at this area from here, right? So that's going to be that part. I'm uh, going to want these two, the minigun and the flamethrower. So minigun's going to go over here, actually. He's going to block off this area. Flamethrower's going to hold off this area. Yes, I'm putting a lot on a very few here, but oh well. We're going to actually put the rockets in the middle. Tank's going to drive over here, block this door. Um, anybody that gets through, the tanks will deal with. Uh, probably the best bet is actually... Uh, we're going to want big, chunky AOE guy there. We're going to want close range there. So, yeah, this is the one that's going to deal with this big open area here. Uh, this one's going to deal with, like, far away snipes. And then if they get close to the door, this one's here to deal with it with the MG. So, I've got that. I expect them to scatter, especially building up around here. There might, might be some melee ones that get stuck in this area. Um, and then leaving a flamethrower and a rocket to go deal with this side. There is a very decent chance these guys are going to start getting overwhelmed. Um, so at that point, I expect to start pulling them back. Worst case scenario, I can probably drive a tank over, block that door, um, and then try to kind of ease up some of that pressure. So that's the current plan. We've got nothing to cover this area. We are missing... Uh, we're missing three people that we'd normally have for this. If anyone had made it back from the, yeah, the last uh, Terror Dreadnought, then we wouldn't have this problem, but, you know. The game decided to be a bit mean, and here we are. So, that looks to be set up all done. Uh, let me make sure that nobody else is overburdened. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, you. Wait, no, we've got two that are... Yeah, that would have been... <laughs> that would have been the end before it even started. Alright, you're going to carry some. You're going to leave some of your ammo behind. But for the most part, you are dropping all of this. Because these little uh, little staple guns to put everybody back together need to be left behind. Um, he is essentially going to be a portable hospital uh, for the time being, though. So we're going to leave him with five. Actually, no, I'm going to leave him with four. Hopefully he shouldn't need more than that. So the reason I'm having him block this area is just because there's a decent number of areas he can step out from. His armor should be able to take a few hits. And I expect these Androns to put up a bit of a fight. So I expect him to be around here. Uh, he's going to need a little bit of help, which is uh, what the shotgunner is here for. Um, they should be pretty well sturdy in their own right. And there was one more that was overburdened. That was you. So we're going to put you here, because basically what they've got is all the big AoE rockets. So any if the first lines fall here, uh, essentially the one with all the AoEs here, um, they just go back, load up with these, and then just try to scatter fire everything. We'll see how that all works out. Obviously, it's a less than ideal situation. Um, I almost want to say it's better to have two flames here than two rockets there. But no, it's, it's good to have a flamethrower here just in case. Worst case scenario, they can kind of uh, push in through here, take this area, burninate all this nonsense, and then move on from there. Um, so that's probably a relatively solid defense. Again, it sucks that we're down a few people, but nobody arrived in time, so away we go. Alright, we've got... Weirdly enough, it sounded like lasers. Hmm. Anyway, let's uh, let's put you here. Get this door all blocked off. Make sure that we're properly blocking it off here. Is that right? Because it feels like these are the blocking tiles. So there we go. Um, 
front armor facing that way, your front armor facing that way, yours facing that way. Actually, no, you're gonna face the door just in case there's wraiths. Um, I don't think I saw any wraiths, but, you know, it's good to, good to know. Uh, Rocket's not firing anyway. We're gonna put him way back here, I think. Uh, flamethrower guy should be all good to go here, maybe. Because we'll know if that door opens, it's gonna take a decent amount of TUs, but if we go here, uh, that should both give him good cover and good firing ideas here. So yeah, I think we'll do that. So a bunch of stuff in the way. Alright, you're good there. Put you there just in case. Uh, tanks aren't doing anything. Uh, that's gonna be the case for a while. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's move you up this direction. Let's move you up here. Not much is really expected from these launchers. Oh, I did not unload you. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We have some extra rockets laying here if we need them. Um, I don't expect them to need to fire that many, but we've got them right there. I wish, uh, I wish they showed up. But again, that's going to be the thing with mods sometimes. So, uh, let's put you here. You've got good reactions, I believe. Let's double check that. Uh, reflexes, eh, 29. That sucks. It's fine. It's fine now. They should be able to reaction fire through that door if somebody comes through. Uh, minigun won't be reacting to anything, but we're going to put you right here. And you're just basically going to be sitting here and being a turret. Uh, you are going to be his backup, because I'm expecting robo-dogs, so you should be a pretty solid counter to those. Uh, these ones need to be running in this direction and getting ready to uh, to do some do some business. Uh, flamethrower goes here. Uh, you go over here, because I'm expecting him to need to open up the door next round. So yeah, you're actually going to go over here. The door might open, that's why I'm putting him there. He seems to be the most disposable, and then we'll put you back here. Because I want to have that door open, have them wanting to use this, as opposed to spending their points on that one, um, so that basically Flamethrower Guy can deal with them, Rocket Guy can go away, uh, and then we've got the backup snipe uh, from back there. Uh, how is our positioning looking? Decent, I suppose. It's about as good as it can be. I'm expecting some damage to come this round, but let's see what happens. Come here, delicious coffee! This is so much more stressful than the Tactics Ogre runs. There's like one mistake and suddenly the campaign's gone. Oh, hi there. Alright, that's one down. It uh, doesn't seem like we'd have much eyes on anything else. Uh, he can't really take much of a step back, so that's fine. Him. Do you want to maybe chuck this out here? Gonna give us a little bit of an early warning system. Uh, he'd have enough to reaction fire, so it's worth it. Okay, so that... It won't do much, but it will allow them to, uh, to do something. Uh, this one's gonna crouch, because I don't expect him to need to move. Uh, that one might reaction fire. Uh, this one... Let's put you just facing this way. Because what I'm expecting is, yeah, door opens, dogs come through. He might get a shot off if he gets attacked, and then this one, you know, they'll go and flank around, and then this one gets attacked, and they're all like, pow, pow, pow. And it's good stuff. So first round, shreds off their armor. Second one actually gets through. Third one kills. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, let's put you here. Uh, these two, I'm expecting to need to run around and snapshot, so we'll do that. And then this one's still expecting to reaction fire. Uh, if there's nothing by next round, um, I'm probably going to start being a little bit more pro blah, proactive uh, in this situation. And then we've got our other side over here. Doesn't look like much has opened yet. Uh, mostly using this guy for scouting, and then this one's the one that's going to be the actual offense here. Uh, probably, again, probably expecting to see about 30-ish, give or take, uh, from the numbers that we saw. We've already got one down, and we've got at least two down in the pods. Let's see what's next. They're still just attacking the scenery. And probably just sending out scouts. So, they might be going around the sides here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up to make sure that they're not. Okay, looks like that's still closed. 
Uh, that's looking still closed as well. We already know that they're coming out to this area, so they're going to be moving here pretty soon. No eyes on these doors, though. Uh, nothing's come through yet, so let's... Uh... Interesting. Okay. Huh. Alright, well, run you back. It's weird that nothing's come out yet. Okay. You're good, you're good. Uh, let's probably move you up here just in case, because I'm... Yeah, I wanted to get eyes on this door. So nothing there. I was tempted to move the minigun up right now, actually. Because that's telling me they're thinking about going this way, so we should probably get that door sorted out. But then if they start bum-rushing from here, then we got a problem. So, yeah, let's, let's take here. You guard from there, you guard from here. Or do none of that and just go here. Yeah, this guy's gonna have to be our front line against this door, so we're just gonna... Or, girl, sorry. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, lady not. Um, okay, so we'll put you there. These doors still seem fine. This is a decent enough position that I'm just gonna leave them, probably. Because, again, they can't go this way. They have to go this way, or this way, or this way. So, everybody's got at least a... a well, except for the shotgunner, uh, they, everyone's got at least a one-shot kill on him. Uh, you go ahead and reload. And let's see what next round brings. Okay, we got Robo Reapers. That's weird. Why are... Why did their shield get affected? They must have been trying to attack a prop and hit their own guy. Alright, step out and see what you see, which is nothing. Hmm. weird. Okay, so presumably they're still trying to clear out this room. Anything here? Yeah, we've got a drone in here. Okay. You've got an auto shot if you need it. You can go back here, and that should be okay. Is there any cover provided from this? Yes, it's surprisingly decent cover, but you can still shoot through it. Anything here? Still nothing going on here. I think I'm going to move him he uh, over to this direction. Kind of get him into relative position to deal with this. So he's going to watch this door for this next round, and then we're going to go explore here, because I think they're coming through this side. Alright, uh, you're still not doing anything. Um... I'm tempted to, to open that door, but it's just not a good idea. They're probably seeing these tiles as blocked off right now, which is good. Um, this guy's in danger, but... Uh, if we move him here, he might be able to open the door. Uh, I think I'm happier with him being in sniping position here, because if it decides to stop, and then something else causes a problem, like what I'm, th what I'm seeing is drone comes up, suppresses, they might be able to finish off the drone, but then, like, an Andron comes around the corner. That For that situation, I'd like the AP. Uh, so, yeah, you're gonna be fine there. Risk is relatively minimal uh, for what we're getting out of it. Doors still look to be locked over here, but I can't be sure. Um, Alright. Upwards and onwards. Let's see what we got. Nothing, apparently. Alright, well, take out that drone. Alright. Weird. They were literally just using it to scout and nothing else. I guess just watch this door. Oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I was trying to have her turn and face the door. Alright, anything else? No, nothing's out yet. Hmm. Give me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, if they went this way, the tanks would be able to hold them off until help could arrive. Just what doors are they opening, though? Because they might just be going out here and trying to blow up everybody's bunk beds. 
Um, they usually go for the armory. Or the general stores, which definitely looks like an armory. But, you know, oh well. Just feels like they all might be stuck in one place. Or hell, who knows, maybe it's just a bunch of, uh, bunch of drones that got left over. And we're gonna have to go into the pods to take them out. Anything here? No. Anything here? No. Right. Right, right, right. Well, hmm. So are we sure they showed up? Because it kind of just feels like they sent some Roombas to apologize for the mess they made last time. Unless it was a bunch of the super defensive ones. Because apparently the uh, the green variants are required uh, for, the, uh, for the game to even work. And apparently some of them just decide to sit around and do nothing. Which is apparently a mercy feature of the original, where, you know, Androns could always mess your, mess your day up real good. So they just made them so that they, they kind of just malfunction every now and then. Alright, what do we got here? Anything? No. I guess let's... Is it risky to put him there? No. Because he needs to be at close range for this minigun to work. Okay, we can get a little bit of scouting done. We can, you know, I think if we just move in with everybody here... Uh, we can't really move in with everybody, everybody, but we can at least make sure that this pod's harmless before worrying about the other one. Uh, gas is still a problem here. Anything in this room? No. Can you make it here? Yes. So we'll get all our Rocketeers in. Probably just pop you around here, just in case they decide to march out. Sorry for moving with the mouse again. I know that's that graphical effect's annoying. All right, and then we'll move you this way. In fact, let's double check this, because maybe they snuck through. No, doesn't look like they snuck through. This kind of stuff right here is why I always compare it to Resident Evil. It's just like, did, where, where did they spawn in? Where's all the new dangerous stuff at? Alright, yeah, let's move you here. Should be safe from shots around the corner. Doesn't look like there's much coming in from down here. Uh, I think we'll move you here for one round just to be certain of that. Then we've still got a rocket here, worst case scenario. And the reason that I'm putting them back here is whatever other shots are going around, they would get a morale check if somebody went down, uh, but uh, they wouldn't be suppressed themselves, so they would still have a chance to fire, hopefully. Okay, and then let's check the other door. Still nothing going on over here. Can't exactly see that door, but I'm pretty sure we've got nothing going on there. And nothing here either. Okay. I guess away we go. I mean... Oh, that's what it was. They must. It must have been a bunch of Transformers. Okay, so they're just trying to go for the doors. Uh, we might be able to flamethrower through that pillar. Alright. What do we got here? Alright. Problem result or problem almost solved. Can you snipe that? Um, I'm sorry, why can you not even fire? Have you been oh hmm, I am stupid. I'm really stupid. Okay, so he's had a bunch of APs this whole time. Uh that will leave him with enough to use to reload. In fact, will this yeah. I'm stupid. <laughs> I left him with enough points to reload, but not enough to fire. Wow. Alright, so... He's in some trouble, but hopefully the dog will decide to go all the way around. So yeah, they, they spawned as a bunch of Transformers, so now is when they're going to start coming in. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, first off. Flamethrower guy, what do you got for me? Apparently nothing. What the hell is going on here? It's like they didn't even bother to show up here. Yeah, they've got one drone. And they've got a dead Heridian. Yeah, they, they literally just got one drone. Okay, shotgunner, just go deal with it. This is apparently the joke pod. Um, yeah, if the flamethrower comes out, or if the drone comes out, flamethrower's got it. Otherwise, shotgunner can take care of it. Uh, 
you know, we'll put the minigunner for good measure, just so they're not getting torn apart for no reason. Everybody else is getting committed uh, to defending this side. And now we know what happened. Alright, so, let's put you, I think, behind this workbench. Get ready to fire. I'm expecting them to want to come around this doorway. Uh, we'll deal with that later. Tanks still do nothing. Being very nice, handy barricades. Still just got the one terror dog down there, and, uh... And I think you can start going this way. Because I'm expecting them to try to circle around here, so I'd like to have one guy watching this side. Um, ideally, I'd like to have him watching from right over here. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Where is your position here? Uh, you can move down this way. Uh, probably want to defend from the middle here. You're fine, you're fine. Uh, you are perfectly fine as well. Alright. That'll do. Next round. Hello there, Zappy. And there we go. So, I think, yes, yeah, snapshot, rocket... Ooh, no, 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 the tank can just take care of that. No problem. No problem at all. In fact... Yeah, flamethrower time for that. Perfect. You're making some really stupid moves here. Alright, so. Basically, here's our situation. This one moves back. It can't quite fire on it. This one can. So, we're gonna move it right back up here. This one's gonna go around and try to bite this one in the back. This one will turn around. So it'll go and try to bite these a few times. It'll do no damage. And then this one will turn around and finish it off with the uh, Gauss Cannon. Uh, I want you to deal with the Robo Reaper, so you're gonna go thereabouts. I think he was suppressed or something, is why his, his points are down. No, 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 no. His points are down because they've got shock damage. That's what it is. So in that case, no. Retreat to about there. And then hopefully it runs up and tries to do some zappies, at which point Rocket and Flamethrower can take it out. Um, I need this rocket continuing to make sure that this area is safe. You stopped. Why did you stop? Um, I don't see anyone hiding as props, so... Unclear. Unclear. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you've got shots. Let's crouch you down to make sure you've got better shots. Um, I'd actually prefer the rocket guy to get shot at in that particular instance. Now there's going to be something here. Alright, let's go deal with this, though. So, let's see, we move you to there-ish. Why are you so slow? She's got no TU, so this is not the right armor for her by far. That's not going to hit. If we move you hereabouts, you might be able to just plink it down. Yeah, I think let's do that. This is going to have to reload before anything anyway. Or not. Alright, can you just take it out then? Alright, there we go. Problem solved. Anything else down there? No. Okay. So, let's move you this way. We'll do one little check to make sure everything is there, but yeah, this shotgunner is pretty, uh, pretty worthless looking right now. They're actually feeling like some of the uh, low TU uh, units from uh, Xeno 2 in uh, some of the earlier versions. It's funny, uh, Xeno 2 actually had some kind of weird uh, systems before they got the proper TU system in place. And, uh, yeah, it, it, there was just this awkward phase for a little bit where uh, it, where they functionally just, like, if they had low TUs, they just couldn't be used. It was weird, but, oh well. I probably could risk a shot with the tortoise, but, eh, it's not worth it. Like, the, the dog is literally no threat to them. You know, I say this before, like, 50 dogs show up and just eat all the tanks, but I think we're okay. I'm actually feeling pretty good about the space defense right now. What the? Oh, yeah. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's more stuff. Okay, but it's just a blue dog. And, uh, yeah, the blue dog just screwed itself, so... No big whoop there. Nobody's panicking, nobody's doing any of that. What? What? Where the hell did it go? What? <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, that is legit impressive. Do you manage not to see that? Goodbye, doggy. And that is what that shotgunner is there for. All right. Now, let's see if we got anything to defend from here yet. No. I'm letting them scout ahead because I'm assuming they can at least take a couple bites. So we can at least get these rockets into better positions. Not that those are very good hiding spots for them, but I'm assuming they won't be much of a priority. Uh, hello there, Mr. Doggy. Let's drive you away again. Alright, and if... Nah, we'd, we'd be out of the way to, to actually block that thing. So, let's just put you there. Again, it's not really doing damage, so... I don't care. Uh, what I want is for it to bite this one, though, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it this way so that it has that desired effect. Alright, almost in range to deal with that. Alright, perfect. That'll do some. Yeah, let's just dump the rest of these rockets so that he can fire normally next round. Alright. So hopefully it'll do the same turn again, and uh, then we'll, you know, deal with it as we'll deal with it. Uh, second rocket guy... I uh, can probably put him into position back here. Then he can just take a long range, uh, long range snipe there. So worst case scenario, yeah, it just sits right there, he just cross maps it. And yeah, we should be alright. I don't think there's anything else that's going to be coming out of that pod. So I'm going to have move the, I'm going to move this guy up this way. Just go double check everything is all kosher down there. And then we'll move you probably just up to here. There we go. So far so suspiciously good. Gotcha. Doggy's going to go bye-bye. He's going to go hang out over there. It's a good thing we've got some 100 engineers in the base to uh, to patch up all of the places that got burned to the ground. But oh well. And yeah, I'm not too worried about the zappy guy right now, so I'm probably just going to leave him there until he attacks again. Uh, let's put you back here, actually, so that he decides to go for the long-range attack. Do -do 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 -do. These are fine, these are fine, these are fine. And I think what we got to worry about is that section right there, so let's start piling everyone up on that door. There we are. We'll leave one rocket behind uh, to watch this area should the worst case scenario happen. Who hasn't moved? You haven't moved. So let's, I suppose, start running you this way. Uh, you're going to reload and start moving. And yes, I realize the flamethrower is the worst thing I'd want to use in one of those pods because of all that free loot. Vindicator rifle, I believe that's new tech to research, and... Yes! We got the cannon. Okay. So actually, we might uh, we might be getting net positive out of this. All right, do you need to move? No. Do you need to move? Kind of. And that's going to be our round. Let's do this thing. Oh, I forgot to do that. Well, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. It's still just doing its thing. All right, still got our zappy guy. We got a second zappy guy as well. Okay, okay, okay. This time, don't forget the tank. I'm really tempted to do that, but I don't want to accidentally blow up the Stumpy. Can you take a aim shot? No. There we go. The door is gone, sure. But we can still block it. 
Of course, the scary part now is that that thing can actually zapify the tank. I didn't really think about that. Oh well. You know what? We'll deal with it. Let's move you over here. We've got our two snipey guys. I think we'll be okay. Wait, do you see it? Oh! It survived. Um... Alright, you want to snipe that? Yeah, it's got a ton of blocks. Um... Alright, we'll leave that for the time being. What do you got for us here? Good. There's one gone. We'll see if we can leave this door unlocked, basically. Alright, there's that guy. And then with any luck, we can snipe you. Alright, what's still in the way here? Alright, that's most of its defense is gone, so what do we see here? We got that guy, and we got that guy. Uh... Alright, well we know we can leave the door unlocked, so if we go this way... Alright, it was worth a gamble. Um, I was just kind of rolling the dice there. This guy's gonna get zapped. Uh, this one is in a little bit of trouble, this one's a little bit of trouble. Hopefully this one decides to zap and run or something. Um, it's not the greatest position for them to be in. Uh, we'll get the backup going over here. If he just decides to fire on everybody, backup should be able to snipe it out next round. And then we've got further backup coming from this side. I'm gonna leave them out in the open just to hopefully draw a little bit of aggro, but they should be safe. Uh, and then we've got even more backup coming. Now, unfortunately, we can't see this guy. That would be ideal. Okay. And we can probably move this one up. Okay. So, got you there, got you there. Should be alright. That's fine. That's actually perfect, because he's probably the best at taking that out. Um, okay, Super Reaper's going that way for some reason. Huh, okay. I can't say I understand, but sure. Especially on that one. Okay, we got our basic civilian. So first off, hello. I mean, it was worth a shot. Uh... Goodbye to you. Uh, let's see, 28 to burst. Goodbye to you. Alright, these things are super durable. Good to know. Alright, um... Alright, well, we deal with the doggy next. Wherever it is. That thing is just not big on going down, is it? Okay, I want to capture this thing, but... At the same time... Holy hell, that thing's terrible. Uh, apparently very, very, very resistant to that. Right. Let's just say we've got worries. Uh, either way, we've got three loaded launchers. Uh, to deal with it next round, it might decide to walk away. No guarantees on that, but whatever. I'm going to put this one here uh, to block his movement, and I'm going to start putting this guy this way. Start putting you this way. Mm. Yeah, it would be good to start putting these to work. Let's 
get you out of the way. And expect this siege to actually go down. Hmm. And I think we'll we'll start moving this one as back up this way. No, we need to leave you covering the door. Just in case there's something else scary coming around that corner. Alright, this flamethrower guy needs to run this way. And alright, let's let, let this round play. Oof. That ain't great. Like, it's not great, but it's definitely not the worst outcome that could happen here. Ooh! You don't say! Okay. That is about the best way that I could have gone. Blue boys... What are they doing? This is bizarre. Um, alright. I mean, that's what you all feel like doing, sure. There's that one gone. Uh... Alright, starting to carve through that armor. Oof, crap. That, okay, that wasn't great, but oh well. Hopefully eliminate that one. Bummer. Alright. Yeah, it's very resistant to that one for sure. here. Also, hang on, I'll be right back. One moment. Also, hello there, Sunniff. Uh, good morning. And also, uh, yeah, again, be right back. Just one sec.
Alrighty, I'm back, and I actually might have to wrap up pretty soon, because the short part of everything happened. Alright, uh, let's see. One night, a black named Rudolph the Red was looking out the window and said, It's gonna rain. His wife asked, How do you know? I said, Because, uh, Rudolph the Red knows rain, he answered. Oh, Rudolph the Red knows rain, dear. Ah. <laughs> uh, I gotta appreciate the Christmas puns. Alright, let's see here. Forget what happened to that guy. Still got that one out, still got that one out. You're still running this way. You're going this way. You're gonna move up here. Yeah, today's the last folks with my, uh, or the last day with, uh, my folks where I'm out of town. But, uh, was just kind of doing the, uh, the whole stream thing until I found out what's going on. Okay, we'll put you there. Should be all good here. Oh yeah, Mr. Dude. Sun's over here waving an egg around. <laughs> Alright. Let's call that a turn and yeah. Might take a minute though, because everything is completely frozen over. Ooh, that's not great. They went for the uh the only one without decent armor. Been a while since so yeah, it's definitely been a hot minute. Um, there was the hiatus for the longest time, then Christmas stuff happened, and yeah. Well, I guess early Christmas stuff happened. But, uh, I think tomorrow is gonna be the day that everything kind of goes back to a semi-state of normal. Alright, they're bleeding. Uh, but they're also the one with the best shots. We're gonna move you here. We're gonna move you here. There's really zero chance for that to miss, but... Yeah, they're gonna have one point off from reloading, but I just don't want to be perfect. Okay, so there it goes. That's gone. Uh, looked like we had one that went over this way, somewhere. Unless I'm crazy. All right, nothing there. Nothing there. And then we've still got the one to deal with over this way, wherever he went. Okay, these are all reloaded. This one needs to reload, so I guess I'm glad for the timing there. Did a little bit of scouting with the Siege 5. Nothing going on there. Wait, what? There we are. We need 27 to fire, or we can just fire two bursts, which he's running low on shots. So let's just go ahead and make this point blank. There we go. Oh, actually, no, he's gotten more shots than I thought. Still, though, wouldn't have been a safe bet. Alright, I'll move you up here. Go ahead and reload you. Face you that way, and then we'll call that a turn. That's fine. That might be the last one. I'm not sure. Yeah, they need some medical attention. Alright, you need to just run for the time being. Uh, you need to fire your... You I don't want to use. Excellent. Okay, so that's not the last one. As it shouldn't have been. Nothing going on there. Let's move you up here. Yeah, definitely uh, not the kind of thing you want to be rushing, but you know. Want to want to try and not leave this on a cliffhanger if I can. Let's go ahead and block with you. Put you up this way. Put you nowhere because you can't move. Um put you up this way, because I still have a feeling I saw that thing run this way. Put you here, just scatter everybody, because why not? And then, yeah, you run in, run in for medical attention.
All right. I think we're good. Let's go. Okay, found the zappy. This one's not in the greatest condition, but he's also the one that can blow this open. Excellent. Can we see him yet? No. So, let's move you up here. He's probably going to be the last one. Since uh, the uh, the planes, for however many went down, at least did manage to take a solid chunk of these guys out and, uh, up in the air, by the looks of it. Put you there, put you around, do the flamey thing. Everybody's all nice and happy and crispy, except for the people that have, that have to go and rebuild this crap, but, you know, they somehow pull it off within about a week, so whatever. Uh, let's get you inside. There we go. And let's get you going this way, just in case it decides to pull some shenanigans. Uh, let's have you go here. And hopefully we're good to go then. Yeah. Unless I'm missing something obvious, but yeah, we should be good. Alright. Away we go, there goes Zappy. Perfect. Absolute perfection. Alright. Now what I want... is for you to step out and burninate that. Ooh, there's even two of them. Oh no! Hang on, one sec. Okay, apparently the man just decided to be dramatic. Like, I'm gonna just roll over slightly. Excellent. Let's continue moving these guys over, just in case they decide to run in and flink. I'll maybe just move you down here, actually. Uh, he's gonna be out in the open, but I'm assuming they'll just go over the tank. Alright, you go for those med kits. Which are not here, but probably here. Which are also probably not... Where did I put them? Are they over here or something? They're down there. Okay. So, I'll throw this down now. It's not really a concern at the moment. You're pretty much done. Uh, let's put you up here. Let's put you up here. Just bum rush and finish this off. As we already know, the other stuff's probably taken care of. Oh, no. Oh, very no, it isn't. Um... Oh well. Okay. First layer's gone. Dang onion beefs. Right. You see that guy? And we got the two others. Okay. Either way, these three should be it. I'm gonna have to call those things beef and onion, I think. Only partially because the beef and onions from Sots the Pit are purple. Can these tanks do anything to help? Uh, kind of? Maybe? It's not really worth risking them to do so. And I guess I can move this one up. Alright. That's fine. Still fine. Less fine, but workable. Ooh, never mind, there's even more. There's even more. Okay, there's a good number of them back there. I might have to end this early, then. Joke's on me for thinking it was done. Alright, you get yourself patched up. Good, good, good. Get right back into it. You need to get the hell over there, because you need to help. So let's put you there. Good. Obligatory leader is defeated. You go here, you go here. And 
but some progress is made. All right. All right. This guy can't do anything. This guy has no reasonable shot. Goes to here. You can snapshot, but he might hit. All right, it's worth it. Not as worth it as I thought, because I thought that would be a finisher. Okay, so he was definitely on his first layer then. Um, what if you go here? Alright, cool. That works out. And then we know where this guy is. Perfect. And that should be all we really need. Flamethrower, flamethrower, done. Oh no. What the hell? Very oh no to every part of this. Alright, let me move, please. I'm gonna answer this stuff. I mean, this one's an obvious answer, just minigun. Boo. Alright. That ain't great. Alright, so we got that guy. It's just a raw deal that we didn't already take care of him. Yeah, that's fine. You're right there. You're gone. up here. Put you up here. Not a good idea to cluster. Doesn't matter. Um, what the hell? Another one? ones around there someplace. Yeah, it's getting a little dirty, but I think I think we mostly got this in the bag. Oh, we can you run down to go get the flamethrower guy back. Uh, you can take his place. You can continue doing very little. the tortoise down to help uh, help with this. Right. Please stop. Hmm. Alright, yeah, they're in really bad shape. First off, anything else there? No. Okay, you've got a rocket, you've got a rocket. There's something down there, though. Alright, snap it. You deal with this. Fair enough. Goodbye. be done there. You can still snap. <sighs> 700, hot dang. Alright. This guy's toast. Uh, there's nothing really to be done for him. He's out of everything, so we're gonna move him out of the way. He sees one more. And I think those are the last two, then. Alright, 
this one's running down here to assist with this nonsense. Hopefully I don't end up roasting my own guy. This one's about to run into issues. Unless... Yeah, no, he's about to pass out. We'll at least get them out of the way. And lastly, we'll move you down here to make sure there's no more surprises. And then actually... <sighs> Man, those things are, are a bit tough, aren't they? A little bit hard to chew on. There, and I hope might have time for one more round. Let's see how it goes. Oof. Let's see how it goes. The fighting about four two hundred words on two point five hours. Uh, time to take a break to walk the cat, make coffee, and then see if I can get more done, or if the pain is too high. Well, hopefully, hopefully the pain doesn't stay high at all. Um, hopefully everything gets better over there. Sounds like a hell of a lot of words to get done in a very short amount of time. Also, so far it's going okay. There's only two left here. Um, it's just everybody keeps falling unconscious and stuff. Alright, uh, let's pick this up and walk away. Alright, medic goes there. Tank does nothing. Except, I guess, can block this doorway. You walk away. You go here. Please finish this. Ugh. One of these days. This barely doesn't have enough to reload. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. Finally. Okay. That leaves one. So there's only one left to deal with now. who's going to be inside there. So I need to get that guy up on his feet. So you're going to take that risky move. You're going to go block this doorway. You're going to reload. You're going to block this doorway, and hopefully they'll just decide to sit in there. Okay, you are loaded and going this way. You're going to go this way. And that'll basically be that. Then we can call it good, and then can wrap up the last day with the folks here and do some hanging out. Alright. Great. That went great. Uh, can you maybe sort out this problem? No, you are barely functioning. Uh, right. Shield's gone, dude isn't. That's not the right tank for the job. All right. You get the hell out of here, I suppose. Go pick up this minigun. Alright. Oh, jeez. And there's another one. Oh, come on. Now oh, we didn't need this hospital room anyway. Or that tank, apparently. Alright. Alright, I gotta wrap it up. Gotta go.